Hey there, it's Megan. It's really me. Uh, it is a fabulous day. I know I always say that, but it really is. <laughs> the weather is phenomenal. I mean, look at this. This is fantastic. So I am here at 511 North Lemon Street, which is, if you know me, it's right next to my house. I promise I'm a good neighbor. This house is really unique. Um, I love the roof tiles. They look uh, original. The windows and doors. For sure, this would be eligible for the Mills Act. So it's got a nice long driveway and a covered porch. And back in the day, meaning <clears throat> when I lived, when I first moved in, there was a family that lived here. They were German immigrants and they were such fun neighbors to have. And um, he made wine out of everything. So there are tons of fruit trees, really nice established fruit trees. And um, yeah, so it's got the original front door. Look at this nice wide door, so cute. The floors have been refinished and uh, the family still owns the house, but they are going to sell it and do something else. All right, so you've got nice, beautiful wood floors. The house um, is about 1,900 square feet. Um, it's got beautiful, I can't tell if this is faux finished or if it's really gum wood um, trim here, crown molding. Just beautiful big rooms, lots of light, the French doors, and then the kitchen. It's probably from the 60s, um, but before they rented it out last time, they put uh, these nice quartz counters on and some sort of uh, laminate flooring. And then there is a um, laundry room here with all these great transom windows. And there's a really nice big backyard. Now, because there's, you know, homeschooling and all this kind of stuff and the tenants still live here and they've been so gracious to let us come in and tour the house, I'm not gonna, I'll just peek out the window, but, um, so here is a room here that looks more like a breakfast room or a den. It's got a built-in with some cabinetry and they've got these sort of laminate floors here. Um, you can see sort of a little breakfast nook there. I don't know where the light went on. We're doing our photos today. Mr. Rob is here. Okay, and then there are three really nice size uh, bedrooms. This one would be considered to be the master, but you can kind of see the backyard from here. I don't want to get the kids in the picture, but it's huge. These are like 7,500 square foot lots, and it's got a garage and lots of garden space. And it has a little tiny bathroom here and what was probably a closet. But the rooms are really big. It's got this long hallway. You could do a nice art installation here and add some lighting. Then the bathroom here looks like uh, probably the same time that they remodeled the kitchen. Uh, they probably remodeled the bathroom, kept the cabinets, but changed the hardware because this hardware is 50s, but the cabinets are original. It's got the built-in um, medicine cabinet, lots of storage. That's a hamper. Again, I don't really want to open all this stuff up since the tenant was really nice to let us get this done here today. I don't want to be poking through their stuff. 
Um, the house is priced really well. And I do expect it to have a lot of interest because we priced it at six fifty, and that's because you know it does need some things, and we don't want to do it. So, you know, when the tenant moves out, it's going to need to be painted. Um, you know, it does not have central air and heat. You'll have to do that, upgrade that at some point. Um, some of the windows are louvered windows if you want to change those then at that price all of this is in your budget and um if you want to get the mills act you can do that and so get to sell pretty quickly and for at least full price maybe more so if you want more information just shoot me a message and we're gonna schedule a time to show this property and i'm gonna post uh videos and pictures uh, of it later after our 3D tour is done.